Hey everyone, it's James Lambert, the motivational coach and speaker. I went from knockouts to knowledge and from headlocks to hugs. I still embrace people, just now in a different way. So today, as I'm filming this video, it's Friday. And all over Twitter and Facebook, you know, the various social media things, indeed in society, people are like, you know, thank God it's Friday and ah, oh, it's the weekend. For those that work Monday to Friday, I appreciate many people work the weekend, it's just another work day. However, for those with that mentality, and it is a mentality, I'd like you just to look at that for a moment. If you, like many others, are living for the weekend. As always, there's no judgment here. But I implore you, because I'm interested in, in beliefs and how beliefs affect behaviour. For instance, many people, oh, thank God it's Friday. So, and it's a reason in and of itself to go out and drink or to go out and partake of their favourite, whatever it is, drug. Now, just, this is what I find interesting because it's sort of like learnt behaviour. Just because it's Friday, that doesn't mean you have to do anything. So I, I want you to really establish your own reasons because I see it as a slight flaw. Myself, I used to do it. So it's almost like being told, oh, I can celebrate on this day. Very much the old Valentine's. Oh, you can declare your love for someone else on this day. You don't need a specific day to celebrate anything. Indeed, sometimes, to my way of thinking, it implies that you are seeking escape, that you're so unhappy. I know this is the, the case with most people and that's why they do it but you get out of your box on the weekend because you're seeking to forget about the pain literally and trauma of your job that you despise now as as always there's no judgment i just think it would be more prudent if you truly are that unhappy one it would be prudent to look for another job at least begin the search for it now i know that may bring up feelings of fear you know, any kind of change, we're creatures of habit, we like, you know, to keep the status quo, but if you are truly unhappy, I think for your own health, if nothing else, look for other jobs, other, and don't just say, oh, you can't, there's always a way, even part-time, to facilitate entry into a full-time position, even volunteering, offering your services initially for free, there are ways to break and change into career, retraining and so on, but what I want to, to look at is don't let, just because it's a particular day, dictate your behaviour. By all means, if you want to do something, if you want to go to the pub, for example, do so. But not just because, as you see it, the masses go, oh, it's Friday and Saturday, that's what we do. I just want you to look at your own thinking because in doing that, and it's not always wrong, it's about what's being helpful. Again, for those of you that say, and you are about, going after your goals and dreams to do something on a particular day it could be that energy i gently suggest could be best spent elsewhere for example those several hours you may spend drinking in the pub or smoking pot or whatever you do it might be better working on your book or restudying as i said or at least looking for another job so i just want to encourage you you know just because it's friday yeah great if you work monday to friday i understand that you're looking forward to the weekend. That's, that's absolutely fine. But if you're looking forward to it with such a passion, you know, it's like they say, you know, if you're always thinking about your next holiday, maybe think about getting a job that you don't need to escape from. And I think that's very prudent advice. And you may say, oh, James, I, and out come the excuses. But I'm just saying that you realize that you are the captain of your ship, the ship being your body. You've got a mind on you. You can at least begin to plot an exit strategy. I'm not saying, and I appreciate it's not overnight, but if you just put up with the same old, same old Monday to Friday and then try and seek oblivion through whatever means, I don't think, I, I gently suggest that you are here to be more and to give more. And again, it's, it's that sort of, it's very insular thinking. So it's all about me, or oh, I've worked hard, I deserve a reward. Where even on the weekend, if you thought about others, even on the part-time hobby, how could you be giving back? Just even more to your kids, or to your partner, your girlfriend, whatever. If it could be in your local community. And interestingly, you think, oh, I haven't got time for that. But again, swap the time that you would be spending elsewhere. Maybe even save money, if that, if that floats your boat. Thinking about the money you could save, whether it be spent on 
takeaways or cigarettes, booze, whatever. Just think about that. As I say, begin to... If you are seeking oblivion through getting out of your box on the weekend, just, as I say, no judgment as always, but think about how you could at least begin to use some of that time with planning a life that you can be proud of and you will be happier. Because for it is within your potential. It is within your power to change your life for the better. As always, hope you found this of value. You are unstoppable and I believe in you.